But currently, all I can do in is search for that pin. We decided to try Ikebukuro as our last stop for today. It would be nice to visit home, but I don't have the time, and besides Susua's with me. Our search turned up nothing. As the evening wears on without a single lead, Susu and I grow quieter and quieter. We're exhausted from walking, and we can't shake the feeling that all our efforts are futile. This isn't good. So yeah, By the way, I'm tr I try steering up conversation. I should get her to talk about the future. After all, she is a time traveler. This is once in a lifetime chance. I remember how shocked Carissa was to learn that she only lives to be 44. And I was told that I become a terrorist. Am I really famous in 2036? As a terrorist, we're still good. Oh. So what did I do to be called a terrorist? You rebelled, rebelled against CERN. You're actually one of the founding members of the resistance, just like my dad. I helped found the resistance. I guess it makes sense, given what we're going through now. Susue is from the future of this timeline where Mayuri is doomed to die and where CERN forces Kurisu to build a time machine. In such a future, how could I not rebel against CERN? Rebellion against the system, destruction of order, a new age of chaos. Weren't those my ambitions as a mad scientist? How stupid. Stupid? How can I still be chasing some Shinubiu fantasy when I couldn't even say Mayuri? You're fighting for f to free humanity. I think it's a noble cause. Susue is part of the resistance I form. Does that mean she's my subordinate in the future? What sort of man am I? Susua's expression darkens. I said we never met, remember? Never? Never. You were killed by CERN in 2025. Huh. 15 years from now. I was killed by the same people who killed Mayuri. They had no reservations about marrying an innocent girl. I doubt they would hesitate to kill a terrorist. Maybe I should have told you sooner. Understand? If you don't change the future, you're going to die in 15 years. Shina Mayuri will die, you will die, Makise Kurisu will be a slave for ser to CERN. It ends badly for ever lab me. But then also Kurisu dies when she is only 44 years old. Daru. What about Daru? Um, I don't remember hearing about him. I have heard the legends of a wizard class hacker though. Though I don't understand what wizard class means in the first place. Wizard class, I coined that term. 
I can imagine Daru is slowly insinuating himself into every corner of the internet until he becomes a godlike virtual presence that don't even CERN can comprehend. Anyway, I don't want to, that to happen to you guys. That's one more reason I need to find an IBM 5100 and change the future. Until I came to this time, you guys were just stories, history. But now, you're my friends. I want to save you. Appreciate it. You are laughing now and forevermore. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. System. I already told Kurisu that I was confident in her ability to complete the machine on time. Okay. Question Are you sure I can finish the time leap machine in a day? We still haven't found our lifter substitute, remember? I can't complete the upgrade without it. Wait, wasn't the lifter the 40 the, the 42 inch TV? But it occurs to me that I forgot to tell her about the 42 inch CRT exactly. There, that should do it. Our lifter is the 42 inch CRT downstairs. The electrical discharge phenomenon occurs when it's turned on, so don't worry about it, just finish the upgrade. There we go. I send a reply in the side to keep searching for the pin with Susua just a bit longer. Time is quickly running out. Is there anything more that we can do? It's already the evening, but the roof of Radican is still hotter than hell. When I proved provi provide Daru with a refreshing gift of Dr. P, a frown appears on his sweaty face. You're supposed to give him an ice cold zero calorie cola. Common sense, man. I forgot he's a cola guy. No sense letting it go to waste. I drink the Dr. P myself. The Ruin Susua starts discussing the time machine while you and I watch from a short distance. Hey, Ocarine, isn't it amazing that the satellite was a time machine? Oh. So then. Yeah, I guess so. I thought that Tyler's time machine was a car, a 1970s Chevy. It never even occurred to me to suspect the satellite. I should know better than to take anything for granted. In retrospect, the satellite was as suspicious from the start. Not only had it appeared out of nowhere, but Tyler almost started posting afterwards. I'm disappointed in myself for not realizing the connection. I'm glad Susan wasn't hurt in a crash. I doubt it was anything like a crash. It probably just appeared there, displacing the wall, which then collapsed around it. After all, the time machine isn't self-propelled. It doesn't fly. I heard it's really hard to drive. What? I guess she heard that from Susua. If the gravitational watch McCallit coordinates are just a tense a bit off, the whole time machine becomes a jello man and goes ploop. Yeah, 